Hi, today I'm going to do an evening look. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing exactly, but I'm going to use sort of bronzy shades, quite rich colours, maybe some gold, and um, do something quite strong on the eyes. So, to start with, I'm going to use the Antique Bronze shade from the Anastasia Renaissance palette. I'm just going to pat that on. And I've already done my base. I primed my skin first with the Silky Smooth Balm by Tony Moly. And this is great because it just obliterates all the pores. I've actually used it on my eyelids as well. So it's something really nice to for the shadow to kind of hold on to. So I'm just going to do exactly the same on this eye. So I'm more sort of pressing it and pushing it into the lid, which is a really good way to apply your base colour. Don't worry about the edges, you can blend those all later. And if, if, if it's a dark colour and you're worried about your base, just hold a tissue or do your base afterwards. I've used Vita Lumiere Aqua in number 20 for my base. And I use NARS Concealer. Yeah, had I thought about this properly, I would have done my base afterwards. So I'm also going to use that shade just underneath the lower lashes. And then using this shade Red Okra. So this is a really rich red shade. I'm going to go into the edge there. And I'm going to go along the socket line with this as well. It's a bit like a kind of red velvet cupcake. Oops. And don't do that. <laughs> we'll blend that in later. Add a little bit of the red at the outer corner. And then I'm going to take a big brush and just start blending all of that. So lots of circular movements and just really buff and kind of diffuse those edges. And at the same time, you can be looking straight ahead with your eyes open and seeing what shape is going to suit your eyes better. So if you are hooded, when your eyes are relaxed, you might need to come up higher than you thought, or you might need to go out a little further at the sides to get a good shape. And just blend as much as you need to. You can always kind of clean the brush on a tissue in between and then go back in with the brush a bit cleaner and that will really help to soften the edges as well and then for underneath you can use a small brush or you can just use a q-tip so now i'm just using a touch of mac teddy pencil which is an old favorite of mine very warm chocolatey bronze shade just a little bit along the waterline top and bottom not to create a really harsh line just to kind of keep this warmth going around the eye area. So for a touch of shine on the lid, I'm going to add this color Interstellar, which is a nice glittery gold. This is by Urban Decay. And just pat that on with fingers, just mainly onto the lid. You don't need to blend with a brush afterwards. It'll just kind of disperse its way out. And then I'm going to use a black liquid liner, matte black liquid liner, all the way along from the inner corner, quite thin right out to the outer edge and then wing out there and I'm just going to fill in that wing that's kind of mapped the shape for me and then just spend a bit of time doing the second eye just because you need to kind of keep checking that your angles are good don't worry if that takes a while because everyone's eyes are different from one eye to the next. So I've curled my eyelashes and now I'm going to put plenty of black mascara on. Hopefully I won't have to put any false lashes on so I'm really going to build this up because I quite like this look with quite fine lashes in a way, feathery, um, because I love seeing the gold. The gold is so pretty because there's lots of pink pearl in it so it works really well. It's not too yellowy gold. So it works really well with these reddish colours and plenty through the lower lashes as well. I'm just going to build this up. So before I move on to blush and everything else, I'm going to do lips. And I'm just putting on this pencil, which is boldly bare, all over my lips, because I'm just trying to kind of figure out how to finish this look. And that happens a lot. I mean, even when I'm on shoots, kind of halfway through and you're thinking, mm, what shall I do for cheeks? What shall I do for contour? And sometimes you almost have to get another element on to kind of for everything to slot into place. So I was thinking of using this lip ink by Chanel. Just patting it on. And I'm gonna see if this looks good with the blush I'm thinking of. Actually, that is too orange. 
I feel like he's taking attention away from the eyes. So I'm going to blot that off. I'm going to try more of a nude. This is a gloss. Mm, I think this is better. Just going to blot it slightly because I don't want it to be quite as shiny because I feel like I've got enough glitter on my eyes. I prefer the colour. Okay, so on to blush. This is a Becca one. Just using that to warm up my skin a touch. And then a little tiny pop of a more pink colour. Just pressing ever so lightly so that that kind of blends in with the other colour. And then a little bit of Hourglass, and this is the Ambient Highlighter. And that can blend everything in. One more dust over. Always have one last blend, whether it's with a brush or a Q-tip. I always do this before my clients go on the red carpet. It just kind of ensures that everything is nicely blended and looks good kind of in real life. So that's the finished look. It was nice and quick. Although actually I still don't like this lip. I think it's too shiny still. I'm just going to blot off. Colour's better. I'm going to actually put a tiny bit of concealer, like hardly any, just on my fingers. And just pat over the top. Just take it down colour-wise, a fraction, without looking like concealer. And it'll also just take the shine off. So that's the finished look. It's a really nice quick look. It's quite quick glam. And I think all these really rich tones make it quite a nice party look without looking overdone. So I hope you like it.